Hey there, my name is Mauro Secard, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily add a booking functionality on your new Webflow template. Okay, some question we get from time to time is that if you take a look at some of our templates, for example, these, you will see that by default, this booking page, like this page where you feature one room, for example, in this hotel template or this cabin in this rental template, you will see that you can actually choose like how many nights you want and like even a, a location. Uh, and you can probably do like add to cart, but actually for business that have a lot of reservations, actually like having the option to choose when you want to book will be much easier. Unfortunately, this is not something that it's available yet on Webflow. Uh, like this kind of calendar based uh, booking, it's something that it's outside of Webflow capabilities right now. That is why we didn't include it in the template, not because we don't want to, but really because we can't uh, do it yet. So instead, what you can actually do is use some outside features from Webflow to actually be able to do this. By default, we're not able to integrate these features in our templates because we have an agreement with, with the Webflow marketplace that we cannot can only use features inside the native Webflow features. However, that's why we're recording this video to explain you what you can do instead and what is like some solution that is pretty commonly done by some of our clients. So, okay, let's say that you have a few different options. First, if you go here into your template, here you like you are on the on the room section of your template, you can see that right here you have like all of these e-commerce functionality. Okay, like this is where you select uh, the location and it shows the price and all of that. So if you don't want to actually do like to work with these, you can just delete it. You will see just get like remove it. But then it's a matter of actually choosing what you want to be in here. And you have like many different options. So I will try to go kind of one by one on what you can do. Okay, so I will say the first option you can do is to embed a widget for booking functionality. So you can embed like a little uh, feature to let you show like some bookings. For these, for Webflow in particular, the most popular one is Flow Booking. This is pretty much like like a booking forms inside Webflow. And like it works pretty well. You can set up like the different hours and like all the calendar and all of that. And you can just like create those bookings very easily. You create a service, you choose one particular template and you embed it on Webflow. With embed it on Webflow, it's pretty much that you just kind of paste some little code and it kind of works in there. For that, you will just need to create an account in here. Uh, we don't have like any affiliation with them, just recommending them because we believe they're a good solution, particularly for Webflow. And you can go here, you can open this little kind of plus icon. You can drag and drop this embed code. And in here, you can just put the code like from uh, from flow bookings. So like that's, that's one option. You can just click save and that's all. In case like it will just show here. Maybe you want to make some subtle design changes, but that's it. So that's kind of the first option that you can use and it's relatively simple. The second option that we can, we can think of is to use a third party booking URL. So how does it work? Imagine that you, know, like you, are, you have all of this here and let's say that you don't even want to pay to reservate here. So you can just delete all of this. So in this sense, what you can do, for example, is you can go here and maybe change this button to something like book, uh, book hotel, something like that. And in here, you can actually change this link here, you can just go into the little, little settings, go here into links, and you can see that you can get some URL from the CMS. You can just select what item you have. Right now, we don't have any uh, any URL items, but you can you could create one that says, for example, like booking booking.com URL. So you can just go here and like go into the sorry here in, into the e-commerce. You can go here into the rooms. And maybe you can just create like another uh, item in here that you know, like is related to the URL. So you can just click to add a new one 
and then you can use add like a URL. As I'm right now in this kind of simple editor, I cannot create one uh, new one in here, but you can just create an, a new one with a URL, then add that URL to be like on your booking on every page. And that way you're like, it will be pretty much working that way. Last but not least, is just to use any third party um, kind of system for for like scheduling or for booking. There are many ones that are pretty popular. And for example, one that we had seen our clients use in the past is the one called We Travel. With We Travel, you know, like you can do pretty complex booking pages. You can just um, embed them so they can you know, like show on your website. So it's pretty much similar to this first step. The only difference is that you can really choose from any particular like booking system that you want. It doesn't need to be specific to Webflow. And, and that's pretty much it. Uh, like with that, you can just select, uh, put your, your weird in here or put your link here and just link it out. And that's pretty much it. I know it can look uh, a little challenging at the first time if you had not done this before, but the truth is that these three solutions are actually pretty friendly in the sense that, for example, if you choose the flow bookings one, you just need to create your appointment form, uh, put the, for the code in there and you are pretty much done. Uh, on the other, on the other example with booking.com, it's just a matter of creating your, your listing in there and just linking it out. And, and that's pretty much it. So you can see that, for example, in the, in the realm to one, we actually have something like that already built in. You can click book on Airbnb because so, a lot of our clients buy this template because they have their Airbnb properties on Airbnb, but they want to list all of them like in their own website. So for example, in this particular case, I'm like, that's why these are already in place, but you can really change this to book on booking.com or book on like any other uh, booking platform that works particularly for you. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was useful. Uh, if there you have any follow-up questions, if you need some help, we always invite you to go here and click contact us on this button. That will pretty much open an email uh, and you will be able to just send us an email and we will be more than happy to help you out. So I hope it was, this was useful. Uh, and again, I'm Marcy Carr from Bricks Templates, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.